another lesson on the island of Pod Pie with Volume 1. Today I'm here with Reggie and she's going to teach us about the RGB LED. The RGB LED is one of my favorite LEDs there is. You can get so many different colors out of one LED. How does this work? It's because the LED has three different colors in it. Red, green, and blue. And when you combine them, you can make all sorts of different colors, even white. In order to do this, we need an Arduino and an Arduino prototype shield. We need an RGB LED. We need three resistors. 220 or 330 will work perfect. And a black wire and a computer. If you don't have any of these things, aside from the computer, you can go to our website, podpie.com, and buy a kit. They have everything you need to know. So let's get started. So the goal of this lesson is to learn to mix colors with the RGB LED. You notice that the RGB LED has four pins, not two like the other LEDs. The RGB LED is much like the last lesson where we learned to use three LEDs, but it's one component. We have one minus, that's called the cathode, and that's the longest lead, not the shortest lead. Then you're gonna put, so you're gonna put the RGB LED in, make sure each pin goes into a different hole on the breadboard. Each pin will need a resistor except for the cathode because the cathode is the minus. So once you put that in, you're going to take your resistors and you're going to attach them to the three shortest. So you remember which ones are the shortest. You put your 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 um, RGB in and then you're going to put your resistors into the shortest. So one would go right here. You can bend the resistors over your thumb just like this. You're going to then attach them from all from the pins into the um, shorter leads on the RGB. Then you're going to take the longest lead and take a black wire from the same row as it and take that all the way to the minus. Then we're good. We're, now we're going to put the code on our computer and our favorite text editor. We're going to attach it to the Arduino with a little cable. The JavaScript is going to send it to the uh, Arduino, which is going to make the pins activate. And we're going to make the RGB LED blink. All, all three colors blink at different speeds. It's going to be really cool. You can also take a ping pong ball, drill a little hole in it. You might have asked your parents to do this. And then you can put it over the LED and it defuses the light so that it looks a lot more like the actual color. For some reason, it's not seeming to fit. Oh, there we go. And it'll make it look a lot more like the color. You can also try and figure out how many colors, how many different colors you can make by blinking them all at different speeds. And it's really, really fun. Try attaching them to different pins, too, once you've got it down. But remember, whatever you do to the Arduino, you got, you have to do it to the code, too. And on the Arduino, the pins start with zero. Good luck. If you have any questions or problems, you can go to our website, podpie.com, and click on the the um, button. It starts with an S. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, you can click on the support button, and you can tell us about your question or problem, and I'll make sure to answer it as soon as I can. Good luck.